Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. It's Nell and Jerry again here in the Philippines and welcome back! So we've been here for a year. It's our one year anniversary. Actually, a couple of weeks after that, we should have done this video a few weeks ago, yes? <laughs> yes. But one year. It's amazing that we've been here one year. So... Yeah, we're gonna share with you what we experienced here so far, the good and the bad stuff. And good and the bad, what we like, what we don't like. Yep. So, what, uh, first of all, you have to talk about the weather, I think, when you get here, right? You, you guys know I'm a big guy. In America, we had four seasons. There's one season here. Too funny. Two, two seasons. Rainy and the sunny. Rainy season. See, I haven't noticed the rainy season. <laughs> Because it pretty much, it's like it Florida out. here, if you've ever been to Florida. It rains every day yes. here for a half an hour, and then 20 minutes later, you don't even notice yeah. that it ever rains. So, I I don't know the rainy season. Well, I have that's literally our weather. It's rainy and sunny. So. Yeah. What it is, is it's hot and humid. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it, those are the two seasons. Hot and humid. Very hot, very humid. I have not gotten used to it. I like the air conditioning. Um, I like finding places with air conditioning. So, and most of the restaurants here don't have air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, so most of the restaurants are open area. Right. Only if you have air conditioning. Yeah, we've only been to one air conditioned restaurant. We've only been to five or ten <laughs> restaurants anyway. So. Um, we haven't experienced everything, yeah, not, not really. <laughs> but only one of them had air conditioning and it was moderate air conditioning. It was still pretty yeah. hot in there. What do you think about Filipino food, honey? Well, I love Filipino food, so <laughs> I don't have problem with Filipino food. So only you have problem in here about food. So, so we have a nine-year-old daughter. You guys know Kay. We've seen her a little bit. Um, the school, she's been here for a year been almost through a full school year and they're still doing it online like two or three hours a day yes they don't do face to face yet because you know about the COVID thing so they're still doing online school and yeah let's see next year if they're still gonna do it really hope that they open it up she did a year of that in america at least it was four or five or six hours in america yes. The, the teacher cuts it off at like two and a half hours here. I don't know. Not that very good. What else is, about it? The people here, um, COVID is starting to relax a lot here. So that's a good thing. The thing that I, I enjoyed about the people were their facial expressions and they communicate with their eyes and nose and things like this. Y you miss that here. Everybody's wearing a mask, so you miss the smiles. You miss the personalities. Um, I miss that a lot. I remember that from being here before. Yep. You can't see their faces no more right. because of the mask. But the people are super friendly. I've not had any problems here. I've not had any problems with crime or people being mean or anything. I haven't had any foreigner meltdown arguments with anybody <laughs> yet. Show me that. <laughs> Only with that one in the hospital that I already shared because I was worried about losing my toes. Most things have been pretty respectful and pretty nice. I have not had any problems with that. What about the foreigners here? They call them expats. What do you... I don't know. All I know, most of the foreigners here just want to have girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a no, draw. Marriage is not part of their plan when they went here. Most of the people that we knew so far, right? Uh, obviously, the women here are a draw. That's for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't have my beautiful wife, Nelma, you know, uh, in America, I don't think. Well, maybe I don't know. Who knows? I'm so attractive and charming. Who said it? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, they, say, they just think that you have many money. I've <laughs> met many foreigners. Yeah, that's great. Right, yeah. That's what the people Lots say. Of gold. Yeah, part of gold, but not. I've met a lot of foreigners here. 95% of them have been good, but I've met a few that I just, you know, they're the. the couple of the worst guys I've met in the last 20 or 30 years. Some of that reputation is there. You get the uh, sex pat reputation. It's you real get the, guys. The, the, the <laughs> guy just yelling and complaining at, at people and making them uncomfortable. I've seen that three or four times. It's just not attractive. I wish 
uh, that that wouldn't wouldn't happen. Um, but most of the guys, and I met a few guys. I'm in a cribbage group. We play cards. I'm, I have a fantasy baseball and football team, and watch some of the games and stuff like that. So, and most of those guys are really really good guys. So, what about the city? What about the structure here? Well, the Magati is not really a big city if you're used to it. Well, we're one year here and yeah, I got used to it when we stay in the hospital for a week because I need to run around there. So it's not really a big city. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It, it really is a small city. Um, once yeah. you get going through it a few times, you can find things. They do have everything that you really need. There's not... Yeah. Uh, um, anything that they lack in, in specific. Uh, it looks, you know, like a South uh, East Asian country that you see on TV, though. You see the the uh, trikes, you see the, the mopeds, you see the chaos in, in the streets. <laughs> no traffic lights. We don't have it's, traffic yeah, lights here. Yeah, I haven't seen a traffic light. <laughs> yeah. Um, and through the three stop signs that I've seen, I've never seen anybody stop at them. <laughs> Driving is chaotic. We, we talked about that in another video. But I, I'm kind of used to it. It's kind of, you just got to know what the rules are. You just need to follow are. and stay focused on the road. The city does, it does have an appearance of, I want to be kind, it doesn't look that great in <laughs> many, many places. It, it looks a little dirty and old and and well, maybe not even safe in some places. We're in third world country. It is. I, I'm getting a lot more comfortable walking around and doing some other things. Beaches. Well, we didn't see white beach yet. <laughs> Around here, there's not a good beach. There's dark, sandy beaches that don't really look that good. That, uh, you know, I mean, you can go and, and get in the water and stuff. But we have to go to different places. There's some famous ones here. Where are we going to go? Sipalai. Sipalai. On the other side. I think Apo Island is white beach, but we've never been there yet yeah. because, you know, my husband can't go there yet. Yeah, that's an island across. We across see it and look, look at it. I don't know if they have white beaches or not. They're famous for their Snickling. reef and their turtles, sea turtles. Well, that little island is white. I, I think, <laughs> I think Sigihor has, has white beaches. We will go there. What's the beach close to your mom's house? Sipalai. That's Sipalai. The Sipalai. Sipalai. White beach. Yeah, but it's on the other side of this island. You need to go to the border to cross it. So it's kind of far. I think it's four to five hours drive. Right. The, we've rented two places here, um, each for about six months, yes? Yeah. You do have to be careful. And again, I, I've noted that before. I know other vloggers have talked about that but i don't know how to be careful with some things like the last one that we had the internet was a problem it, it just didn't work it was the main company here what's the name of that PLGT. okay doesn't actually go to that they've leased to a man to service like 10 houses here yeah. and i i wasn't aware of this um, and the internet didn't come in for days and days. It's a problem. The electricity goes out there every, every time day. It rains. it rains. Every time I mean, there's wind and rains, you're gonna expect that there's yeah. no electricity. It, it's like it has a switch on it that when it gets yeah. wet, it turns off. Yeah, it's literally. Right, yeah. So. It, that's a problem. I don't know how I would have known that before yeah. I moved in. I did talk to the neighbor. I did. It was in a compound with three people living there. I talked to one of the gentlemen there. He said he didn't have any problems. And as soon as we move in, the internet doesn't work, and it didn't work uh, for him either. Yeah, after a month, they move. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We don't know what's going on. They just move. Yeah, they yeah move that's how we realize. Oh, okay, that's the problem because the owner will tell you the problem because yeah. they want, they just want and, their money, right? And again, I, I'm not going to name names, but that man flat out lied to me about the internet when he called. Mm. Fifty this, hundred that, perfect, no problems. And literally a week into living there, it was a problem. Yep. So we're out of that place. The first place we lived in, the owners were very good. 
It was, it was a, a lovely place. I enjoyed it a lot, but it was only one bedroom, so Kay didn't have a bedroom, so yeah. we couldn't stay there long term. Yeah. Money. We're going to put together what we spent. We're going to do another video on what we spent um, in the first year. But again, we're a little different than the typical the guy that's going to come here and just rent a place that doesn't have kids and doesn't have a family. Yeah. So, you know, we've bought a car. We're in the middle of buying a house and furnishing it. I would like to be more of a minimalist like I've seen other people talk about. But we need stuff. Yes? We still many things need to buy. So we can't live out of a suitcase and a couple of bags and Just move every pocket. six months. I, <laughs> no, it's not us. Yeah, it's not my style. It's tiring to, to move every, even we moved twice already. It's right. Like, yeah. Too much. It's like we're constantly moving. Yeah. Doesn't it feel like that? Yeah, it's tiring. And we moved before we, we moved out of our house in America too. Yeah. So three times in three years. I lived in the same house for close to 30 years. So that's a big difference for me. What are your experiences being back in the Philippines? After living in the U.S. for more than five years, going back here is like different to me. I don't know why, but I kind of used to cold weather. And you got Americanized? You're American, <laughs> a little bit. American but, oh princess my God. now? <laughs> Just the weather stuff, but the food, I, I, I love Philippines. The food, food. is good. Eating, you yeah. do get along with people. I yeah, see you chat and talk all I the time. I try to be nice to everybody, but you're just not everybody's cup of tea, you know? Yeah. So you just need to you got know a which of, is right. which. I think I'm used to, I'm used of our American life that it's only us as a family, you know? Yeah. Going home, you're going home from work and it's three of us and yeah, life goes on with just three of right. us. <gasps> yeah, we kind of do a little bit of that here, yes? Yeah. So the good things, again, we're comfortable, we're well adjusted to, to where we're at. Yeah. Um, the the culture shock isn't that. Yeah, we're kind of used to it. We're kind, we're kind we're of adjusting. used to everything, the traffic, the people, the noises, the noises. <laughs> You, you, you guys have probably watched other videos and you get the same type of things, the food, the noises, the trash, the pollution, yeah. um, things like that. I, I, I'm almost used to that. The noises <laughs> of the roosters don't bother me at the all. The dogs barking. The dogs a little bit sometimes, but that's it. We have a cow living across the, the street from us now. These things don't even come into my mind anymore where they were very odd when I came yeah. here, yes? Yeah. Um, the traffic, the the way people drive, well adjusted to it, aren't we? Yeah. You yes. too even, yes? Yeah, I am kind of used to it. So would we do it again? I think in a minute I would do it again because I was really tired of the life in America. Has so many good things to offer, so many, you know, seasons, weather, I miss some cold weather, things like that. Yeah, Stable infrastructure. Yeah, they're talking about snow and, and stuff like that. I don't really ever want to see snow again in my life. Would we do it again? I think that I, no doubt. And the reason is, is because I get up and it's... End of the week. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know what day what it is. I don't have to know what time it is. Yeah. I can go and do what I want when I want to do it. Yeah. Um, if she wants to go somewhere, Go. You just go. Yeah. Um, those are the great things. Uh, the the way I haven't wore a pair of pants since I've been <laughs> here. Um, mostly walking around in slippers and flip flops. Yeah. Um, you don't have to worry about these things. Yeah. I haven't worried yeah. about any of those things. So the money, hopefully, it will last until I get to retirement. Um, but I I think it was a well done move. Yes. Yeah, we're doing good here, you know, the, I think the stress level that we have in America is not the same here. I mean, we get, we have stress, but it's not, you know, Absolutely. the same like that. Yeah, the, the stress there is, you know, Too much. every day, every, you know, going to work, having to do that, having to yeah. meet everybody's Being expectations left and right at the every payday. That's, right. that's right so too much 
So here we don't, we don't have to do that. That's the biggest blessing other than my wife, obviously for me, um, really is the biggest blessing that I have here. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.